We will start off the demonstration by having Ed sign into SkyDRM. You remember he's the project manager. So Ed will have a full view of all the projects that the other users will access, in this case the Engine Transmission 100 project, the Engine Fork project, the Engine Cases project, and the Engine Bearings project as well. Here we'll see Steve is one of the members under the Engine Bearing project. Ross is a member under the Engine Cases project. Ed can now go into the Engine Transmission 100 project and we will see the files that he has available that are now protected by Next Labs. And in this case, he will look at the information based on policy that's been defined against these files. In this case, we're looking at the casing that he wants to go out and share with the other users. Here we can see rights for other files and the classifications for that file as well. So if we go back to the casing, he's now going to do a share on the file. So this will bring up a screen that will show the different projects. In this case, he will check off the engine cases and share that protected file with the engine cases project. Here, if he takes a look at the log now, you'll see that Ed has protected that file and now share that file. So in this case, we can see the activity already of what's going on uh, from the start of this file from when he first protected it. Now we'll go in and have Ross log in. If you remember, Ross is a tier one contractor. So here we will see Ross is a member of the Engine Cases project. He can go out and take a look at the files that were shared in this case with his project. And here we will see that Ed had shared from the Engine Transmission 100 project the case. He can look at the information for this and see that he has the full rights as well to view, print, reshare, and share as. In this case, Ross will go out and be able to reshare as well since he has that right to do that. He will look for the subcontractor engine case project that he wants to share with. In this case, he's going out and now shared this with that project. If we look at the files, we'll see that that case is now available. We'll see the members of the subcontractor engine case, in this case Claudine. Ross will now log out. Claudine will now log into SkyDRM. When Claudine scrolls down, you'll notice that she's just a member of the subcontract for Engine Case Project. Here she'll see, you'll see that she's a member of that along with Ross and Lewis. When she looks at the shared files, again, she will see that Engine Case that Ross reshared with her. So here she'll take a look at the information and see that she has the same rights as Ross did as far as the file is concerned. Here she can go out and do a reshare if she chooses to, since she has that capability, but in this case she's not going to reshare with anybody else, but she's going to open up and take a look at it to see what it looks like. So here it will display within the SkyDRM viewer, and we can see that she can see the engine case. So she doesn't see the entire assembly, but she can see the engine case that's been shared with her. Claudine will now log out. And now we're going to have Ed, the project manager, log back in again to SkyDRM. So as mentioned before, Ed has access to all the projects. In this case, he's going to go into his original Engine Transmission 100 project and look at the files that he had shared. So here's the transmission assembly and here's the case. He can look at the log and see, as we looked at it before, that he was able to protect and share it Ross reshared it and Claudine was able to view it and looked at it a few times. At this point, Ed will see and look at the projects that he shared this with and now he wants to revoke the rights to be able to look at that file. So in this case he's going to do an update and successfully revoke the rights of the other projects to take a look at that case. So by him removing that, he can go back down, take a look at one of these other projects, 
and look at the files and you'll see that that case is no longer in the shared with this project folder. So now we're going to log back in as Ross. In this case when Ross goes down and opens up the engine case and looks at the files that were shared with him, you'll no longer see that engine case that's available that was shared before. So since Ed revoked it, he no longer is able to see that file. Now we'll log in as Claudine. When Claudine logs in and goes down into her project, if you remember Ross reshared it with her, now in this case there are no files there. So that one shared file for that case is no longer there. So as you can see, since it was from the start of Ed sharing it, he can also revoke it and then that's revoked down the entire chain